don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon. Hello guys, this is Sickna Gentleman. Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade or flash a Chrome on your Samsung Galaxy S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, S7, S7 Edge, or S8 variants. It can work on any Samsung device as long you have Lollipop, Marshmallow, or Nougat, or the latest one. So now what you have to do is, is to connect your phone using a USB cable. Then from your computer, you can either back up your, all of your files and application using smart switch, or you can manually drag your files from your phone to the desktop. So for example, if I want pictures or like yeah, camera 360, so I just right click cut and then put it in a six folder as simple as that so all of my files are now saved so once that is done close the window and then disconnect the USB cable now before we shut down the phone make sure that you go to the settings then you scroll down until you see lock screen and security then from here you have to find other security settings then press device administrator make sure that Ad Android device manager is unchecked because if it's checked then you might have Google uh, account issues so like signing into your account unless if you know your password then you are fine so shut down your phone now <clears throat> Now take your device, then hold volume down, home button and power button simultaneously until you see the screen. Now press volume up to access download mode. Now connect your phone using a USB cable just like that. And then on your computer launch Odin. All of these links is going to be on the description below. But before I launch the Odin, I just want to let you guys know that once you download a Stockholm, you will only have this one. You will not have hidden Dodge IMG. In order to create this without having error on your device, you have to check a video which is going to be on the description below, or you can find it on the top right corner, so around here. So once that is done, now let's launch Odin then you should see this blue bar. If not, then you have to download and install Samsung drivers. And then you should reboot your computer and it should work. <clears throat> Once that is done, press options and make sure that you uncheck auto reboot. Now press on AP, then locate your SOC ROM. Now press start. So no worries if you see a fail, it is fine. That's why we have edin.img here. So once you see a fail, just close the Odin and relaunch it. Now press on AP and locate your hidden.img. Now on your phone, what you have to do is, is to hold volume down button, home button and power button simultaneously then you should see the download mode once again. Shit kebab. I fucked it. So just ignore that warning sign and press continue on Odin and it should work. As simple as that. So just close the window and just now we'll focus on the device itself. If your phone takes too long to 
boot up, no worries. All you have to do is, is to hold volume down button, home button, and power button. Once you see the logo, immediately hold volume up button, home button, and power button. So just give me a moment here. So cancel and immediately hold volume up, home, and power button. As simple as that. So once you are in recovery mode, what you have to do is, is to go down and press on wipe data or factory reset. Press yes. Once that is done, press wipe cache partition as well. Now press reboot system and leave your phone alone until you see in a functional state.